Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know it's 1030. We've been in class since 745 this morning. Class, class, we're, um, trainings, I don't know what you call it. We are at an event, the GoPro event with Eric Worry. And so we've been on Zoom since 7.45 this morning. <laughs> so it's still morning, but it was an early morning. Anyway, so I am mixing up some ketones really quick. And then we're going to get into our devotion. I'm actually going to brew some coffee too. So as you guys jump on, say hey in the comments. Let me know where you're coming in from. What are you guys doing on Saturday? I am going to be in this um, training until 8.30 p.m. our time. So it's like 12 plus hours today. So um, the next time you guys see me will be really late this evening. Um, just because of that. Unless, of course, I can talk Gabby into doing something. Something else after she gets home from work. But we shall see. Anyway, we got coffee brewing. I'm making up my ketones. Let's get into the word. She's the 12th. Today's word is ancient paths. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for their souls. Jeremiah 6.16 It's fun to get something new, especially if you are a techie who loves gadgets. The long lines at Apple stores around the country prove that most of us are enamored with the latest and greatest. We don't like being outdated or not living on the cutting edge. At times we can feel a bit outdated in our spiritual life and need a refreshing touch from God. We may need reviving, but in the kingdom of God, old is better. In fact, ancient is best. In our church, worship styles change programs and methods too, but one thing must remain old and that is the truth of God's word. The old time religion is still what rescues people from perishing. Since there is no need to update the gospel, perhaps what we need is just a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit in, excuse me, a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit to fill us with contentment and rest for our souls. Heavenly Father, I am in need today of a touch from you. My spirit feels dry and outdated and my soul needs refreshment. I want to follow your ancient paths where the good way is. So give me a fresh beginning this day. Oh, that's a good one. Hello, hello, hello. I love that because we all have this like drive through mentality of, you know, we want satisfaction. We want change. We want all these things. We want it now. Um, we always have to have the new and shiny thing. But God's like, no, actually you need... You need the old and original. <laughs> All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, I don't want to. Let's let's skip that. I don't want to read for our nation, anyways. Let's do this one. Reaching out to others. You have heard that it was said, "Love your neighbor and hate your enemy." Matthew five forty three. Lord, would you please show me how I can reach out to someone who needs a friend? Bring to mind people with whom I share the love of Christ. Let my words and actions reflect your love, acceptance, and compassion. Give my eyes to see the need. Excuse me. Give me eyes to see the needs and a heart to respond. As I look out for the needs of others and not just my own, I pray that I would be a vessel of your of your blessing and joy. I like that one way better than praying for our, praying for our. Um, leaders. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so that was today's devotion, and I hope you guys all have an awesome, awesome Saturday. I'm going to be sitting at my computer, so <laughs> it should be super fun. 
<laughs> Anyways, come and join me later. We'll cook something. I don't know what it is or if I will be cooking or if Gabby will be um, making you guys something. I was going to show you guys the fat bombs that she made last night, but I don't think she sprayed the ice cube tray that she put them in. So I don't know exactly how we're going to get them out because they didn't crack when you twisted it. So <laughs> I don't know. I may have to like cut them out with a butter knife. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, so I will um, see how those turned out and, and I don't know. She was, she was worried that they didn't turn out good. So I'm like, oh great. Let mom be the... The mom be the guinea pig. Oh my gosh. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hopping on. Come join me later. We'll cook something. It may be super late, but we will cook something. And let them melt a little. Yeah, I have to um, take them out of the freezer, but I don't know. They looked a little rough, so I was like, I'm just going to put those back in there. <laughs> Anyways, it's starting. I can hear it. So I will see you guys later. Bye.